Hello guys, today we'll be talking about probability and the question before us says that a bag contains three white balls and seven red balls. A ball is drawn at random from the bag and not replaced. A second ball is drawn. Find the probability of drawing A, two white balls, B, a white ball and a red ball in that order. C, two balls of different colors. So guys, this is what we are going to be handling today. If you are an old subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. A channel that gives you insight to all the questions giving you headache at school. If you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe, like and share my video. It will help many others. Without much ado, let's dive into the question proper. So in this case, we call this a uh, probability, conditional probability, a probability where we make a withdrawal without replacing. So we are going to see how to handle this probability. So stay with me. So in this question, we said that there are three white balls. So if we represent white balls to be W and red balls to be R, then we have three white balls and uh, seven red balls. So this means that what? The sample space of that probability is 10, 3 plus 7. So the sample space will denote it as S. Sample space is simply the total number of balls that are in that bag. So in this case, the probability of getting a white ball will simply be number of white balls divided by the sample space so in that case p of white which is probability of getting a white ball is 3 on 10 and the probability of getting a red ball correct is 7 on 10 so in this case for us to make a first withdrawal who we'll have a probability to get a white ball because the balls are 10 will have 3 on 10 and the probability to get a red ball will be 7 on 10. Now for us to get uh, a second withdrawal we will need to change the probability. How are we going to change the probability? For us to easily do this let's draw what we call a tree diagram. So for us to draw a, a tree diagram, we know that well, we have a total of three white balls and seven red balls. So we can either have two outcomes. We can either get a white ball from the bag or a red ball from the bag. So we have two routes, either a white ball, which would denote as W, or we can get a red ball, which would denote as R. If we have drawn that, if the first probability that we have gotten a white ball, if the first drawer we have gotten a white ball, then if we want to draw the second ball, we can also get either a white ball or a red ball because the number of white balls are not finished in the bag, the red balls are not finished. So we are going to have either a white ball again or we are going to have a red ball. If the first drawer we had a red ball, then again we are going to have the second drawer either a white ball or a red ball. So those are the ways in which we can get a white ball or a red ball from a bag containing white balls and red balls. Now let's fill the branches with uh, actual probability values. So we know that in the first drawer here, this first set of branch, we can we have three white balls and seven red balls. So the probability of getting a white ball within the first trial will simply be three on 10. So we have three on 10 there. And the probability of getting a red ball within the first drawer is uh, seven on 10. Now, if we have gotten a white ball or a red ball, the question says that we are drawing a ball at random. A second ball is drawn and without replacement. So it means that when we have drawn the first ball, we don't put any ball back into the bag. So what happens? The number of balls in the bag will reduce by one because we have drawn, we have not put back the ball or any other ball in the bag. So instead of 10 balls in the bag, we are going to have nine balls in the bag for second trial. 
so in case we, we first of all drew a white ball then we are going to have nine balls left in the bag and we have drawn what a white ball so we have drawn we have removed one ball from the bag and the ball we have removed is a white ball so the number of balls will reduce by one and the white balls will also reduce by one so instead of having three white balls we are going to have two white balls instead of having uh, 10 balls in the bag we are going to have nine balls in the bag correct so in that case if the first case we take the first case that what we have drawn a white ball meaning that for us to draw a white ball again during the second drawal we are going to have two white balls left and a total of nine balls left so the probability of drawing a white ball will be two over nine if we have drawn the first draw while we had a white ball then the probability of getting a red ball will be we have not drawn a red ball yet so the number of red balls will still be seven but the sample space will reduce by one because we have drawn one ball and that ball was white so the probability of getting a red ball during the second trial of which the first trial was a white ball will be seven on nine so let's go to the next branch so the next branch the first ball drawn was uh red and the probability was seven on ten so if we have drawn the first red ball and we want to draw a white ball in the second drawer we are going to have number of red balls will reduce by one but number of white balls will remain unchanged because the first ball drawn was red so in that case we are going to have a sample space again of nine but number of white balls will still remain three so in that case we are going to have the probability of drawing a white ball will be three on nine so in the case of drawing a red ball we know that the number of red balls have reduced by one because we have done no replacement and the sample space is now reduced by one so instead of seven on ten we are going to have six on nine so guys that's how we draw a tree diagram now we can start getting values from this tree diagram to answer the question one thing i want us to note about tree diagram is that when we are moving along the branch we multiply and when we are moving down a branch we add so if we are moving from white to white we multiply plus moving from white to red plus moving from red to white plus moving from red to red so as we are moving along the branches of a tree diagram we multiply and as we are moving downward the branches of a tree diagram we add so in that case let's answer question a so question a says that we should find the probability of drawing two white balls so the only way we can draw two white balls of which we are we are drawing two balls from the box is that the first ball must be white and the second ball must be white so in that case where is white the first ball here is red so we don't need to check that branch so the first branch says that white and white so the probability of two balls becoming white will be the probability of the first ball being white times the first ball being white so in that case we are going to have the probability of two balls being white will be first ball being white is 3 over 10 times second ball being white is 2 on 9 so we are going to have that probability to be equals to 3 on 10 times 2 on 9 and 3 times 2 is 6 and 10 times 9 is 90 so the probability of two white balls will be 6 on 90 the second question says that we should calculate the probability of drawing a white ball and a red ball in that order so in that order means that the first ball should be white and the second ball should be red it must be in that order so in that case we are going to have probability of first ball being white is 3 over 10 and the second ball being red is 9 over 10 uh, 7 over 9 sorry so the probability of 
uh, first ball being white and second being red will be equal to probability of white times probability of red. So that will be equal to 3 over 10 times 7 over 9. So if we multiply that, we are going to have 3 times 7 is 21 divided by 10 times 9 is 90. So we are going to have 21 on 90. And the third part says that two balls of different colors, two balls of different colors, they have not specified the order in which the ball should come. They have just said the two balls should be of different colors. So the first one can be red, the second one can be white. The two balls are different colors. The first ball can be red and the second ball is white. The two balls are different colors. So those are the two samples we can get. So let's look at the tree diagram. So if we draw the first ball to be white, the second ball for it to be different color, it can only be red. So now we are multiplying probability of white times probability of red. Then we go down the tree diagram. So we add so p of white times p of red plus p of red times p of white. Those are the two ways we can have two balls of different colors. So c will simply be probability of two balls of different colors will be probability of white times probability of red plus because we are now going down the tree plus probability of red times probability of white so we just go and pick if the first ball is white then the probability is 3 over 10 times the second ball is red uh 7 on 9 plus the first ball is red is 7 on 10 and the second ball is white is 3 on 9 so if we manipulate this we are going to have 21 on 90 plus 21 on 90 and if we add that since the denominators are equal We'll simply add the numerator and we maintain the common denominator. So 21 plus 21 is 42 over 90 so that's how we get the probability of samples like this So guys don't forget to share my videos and stay with me don't forget to make a comment at the comment section with questions you want us to answer. So remain with us and stay blessed. Bye-bye.